We have uh, spoken in the past about how this meal, uh, in some sense, is the marriage supper of the Lamb and also uh, anticipates the marriage supper of the Lamb. So it has eschatological uh, telos to it. It it looks forward to the culmination uh, of all things. It looks forward to the age to come. And the same holds true with both the gift of marriage and the gift of celibacy. A man and a woman who are faithfully married to each other, they signify what the final eschaton is going to look like. Uh, That we will have this corporate, uh, we corporately represent the the bride of Christ and then we are married to Christ. Uh, We are presented as this virgin to Christ uh, in the consummation of all things. So when you see a married couple, you, you are seeing a sign of the age to come. And the same holds true uh, with a man or a woman who are faithfully celibate. They signify what we ourselves, not in a corporate sense, but in an individual sense, will be in the eschaton, not married or given in marriage, but like the angels. If you see a faithfully celibate Christian, you are seeing a sign of the age to come, a little glimpse of heaven invading earth where all of us in our unmarried, resurrected bodies will be presented as a virgin bride to our bridegroom, the Christ. Jesus tells his disciples, he says, But you are those who have continued with me in my trials, and I bestow upon you a kingdom, just as my Father bestowed one upon me, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So come and welcome to Jesus Christ.